We are coming to you today from Terra Greenhouses. We're gonna do some holiday shopping and Chris is going to help us take us through three or four of the departments here. And the first one, Chris, who by the way is the marketing specialist here, <laughs> um, fashion, this poncho that I'm wearing is so soft. It is very soft and wraps and ponchos are one of the big hits of the season here. Yeah. Uh, fashion is a relatively new offering for us in the last few years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've gotten great compliments, especially in this particular season on the assortment available here. I think it's just getting bigger and bigger yeah. every time I come. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's take sure. a look at some of the looks that people can kind of walk away with. We've dressed a few mannequins for you. So here we've Amazing. got sort of a, an outerwear look for you. Um, this is a line from Orange Fashion Village, which is based out of Toronto, uh, but the coat itself is made in Italy. Beautiful. Um, so some unexpected finds for a garden center, I think. Oh, very soft, soft, very lovely. And you get the entire look. Here. Yeah, all sorts of things here. So jeans, outerwear, accessories. The bucket hat, I think, is worth noting. Um, it was so popular in the summer, and yeah. now we've got a winter version, which is actually reversible. So Ooh. a little bit of an unexpected <laughs> twist thing to add there. This is such a great <laughs> outdoor holiday outfit. For sure. We've got... So these are some examples of sort of upscale casual. So when we're dressing up for family get togethers mm -hmm. or holiday gatherings, you know, school plays, that kind of thing. Uh, you don't have to look quite so put, you want to look put together, but it doesn't have to be so formal. So yeah. we've got a couple examples here of things that are actually really comfortable to mm -hmm. wear, um, but have that sort of elevated look with, um, you know, chic fabrics, unique details. These pants are amazing. Aren't they so nice? It's sort of a silky material and yeah. in like a jogger style, but uh, the material makes it upscale. That screams comfortable. Absolutely. And last, we've got a casual look here, all about the layers. Mm -hmm. So we're nodding to holiday without being red and green. Um, with some pops of bright color and lots of different textures in layering here. So uh, you can kind of elevate your your jeans and sweater with uh, additional layers in knits and the puffy vest is very popular this season. It really is. I've seen them everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they're so um, cozy and easy just to throw on whether you're going out to get some firewood from the garage or you're going to, you know, tobogganing or something and it's getting warm and you're skiing or yeah. something. Like it's really, I just picture like cross country skiing in that. For for sure, and the yeah. longer length makes it uh, just a little bit, a little mm. bit different. And you also have lots of other accessories. You've got scarves, hats, all sorts of mittens, stuff. So great gift gloves. ideas. Yeah, all of, all of the outerwear accessories and uh, lots of unexpected things here for sure. All right, well, you got to come check out Terra Greenhouses. We're at the one in Hamilton. They've got a huge selection of clothing here, as well as you can get your Christmas tree, your planters, candles, all your Christmas decor. We are going to continue. And I think next I'm going to try my hand at making my own Christmas planter. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> lots more coming up on Morning Live. Back at Terra Greenhouses here in Hamilton, and Chris is teaching me how to put together my own planter. What are we starting off with here? So what we have in our hands is sort of a, a painted uh, shaped driftwood, but what we're working it into is a pre-greened planter. So okay. this is for the person who wants to DIY, but not all the way from scratch, where we Smart. our designers have already arranged the greens for you. And now that allows you to add decorative elements that you've chosen or maybe that you've saved from previous seasons. Yes, um, I do have a bin in my garage with right. lots of good stuff in it that yeah. I could even add to this. So you went through and we've chosen some beautiful gold and white uh, accents here. So um, one of the main tricks is to pick something tall, like mm -hmm. a stick, that, so we've added that decorative element here. And now what we want to do is kind of cluster the ele other elements sort of toward the center and anything that's bigger, we want to sort of be anchored down toward the very bottom. So, okay. um, so would things this be like, a bigger, like here? Not sort of big, but you've got it just about right. No, you're okay. right. Okay. So we want that to kind of radiate out from the center. Okay. So we're using um, a mix of different elements in different sizes and, and textures to pull out these details. So nice gold balls. We've got cones. Perfect. Something big like a, a ball is going to go down toward the end. So I'm just going to snip a few things down here. I always feel like, does it need to be symmetrical or no? I don't think so not necessarily symmetrical but we are going for balanced so okay that's what I meant mm -hmm. so we don't I'm want things to be um, like haphazardly all over right. the place um, but we do want a bit of a an idea of, of symmetry without it being exactly matchy matchy I don't know if the berries should go here I think that's a good place to put it and you do know you? what I'm gonna add 
I'm going to add to that and make it sort of like a spray coming out from one side. So we're not going super matchy matchy, but we're, oh, we're sort of pulling it out in that you. direction. Okay. Yeah. Now the, these are kind of like the cinnamon sticks, but they mimic cattails. Yeah, kind bit. of the same idea. Cattails are one of the really most popular elements we have for um, fall planters, and then cinnamon sticks. You're right; they kind of take that place in a, in a Christmas planter. Yeah, so I don't I'm going like to put one this there. one maybe out this way. Can put one back um, here, I guess. Yeah, you could. Here. Fanning oh, there we it go. out. And then naturally, oh, yeah. it's not complete without a bow. So I always put the bow right down toward the end so it cascades over the edge. And then if you drop this into an urn or a decorative planter, then you've got everything kind of hanging over the outside edge to mask that. This can't just go on the porch by itself. <laughs> it absolutely could. Yeah, that's everything's in black plastic exactly for that reason. So if you don't have a planter that you're sticking it into, it works perfectly fine by itself. But of course, it is an option to drop into a pre-existing container if you like. Okay, so give us the rundown on how people can come and do this themselves again. Well, we've got a few options. First, in our greens room here, we've got so many already done options for you. So our designers have created a, a crazy array of all sorts of different looks. If you do want to DIY, we've got all of the ingredients to do it from scratch if you want to build from ground zero, or we've got these pre-greened arrangements ready to go in three different sizes and a whole bunch of accents and, and accessories to choose from to personalize it. All right, well, coming up, of course, we are gonna be picking out the perfect Christmas tree, so don't go anywhere. For now, I am going to send things back to the studio. I'm standing among these beautiful decorated cypress trees here at Terra Greenhouse and they have literally taken their plant decorating uh, to the next level. Chris, we're talking about gifts, we're talking about minimalist ideas, next level holiday decorating, either using plants that you already have or new plants, but really just putting that extra something in your living room. Yeah, and we're, we're basically showing that in a bunch of different ways. We've got all of your holiday favorite plants, so obviously there's the classic poinsettia everyone knows and loves, mm -hmm. um, but there are lots of other options too, like, like you mentioned, cypress, we've got little trees, we've got cyclamen, Christmas cactus. Putting them into a special pot, add in a little bit of extra something, a mm -hmm. little bit of glitter, a little bit of bauble, um, to sort of take it up to that fancy level for the holidays is an awesome way to decorate up your plants for the season. It's true because you, I, I feel like I would never think of that. I would never be like, oh, my 18 potted plants that I have at home could very well be decorative planters, but inside. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, swapping out a pot to make that simple substitution, adding a bit of fairy lights, adding a few little decorative touches can yeah. take something that was very ordinary and make it very yeah. holiday. <laughs> like that's perfect. So this is a lavender tree. It's one of our most popular items. We have a, a rosemary as well. Mm -hmm. Fragrant and aromatic, super cute and classic, an amazing gift, but also a super awesome decoration as well. And do you cut it into that kind of tree formation? Yeah, it has been trimmed into that tree formation. Um, for maintenance at home, you, you really wouldn't need to do much, but if you do want to clip it and keep it a nice tight tree, you, you just take a pair of scissors and trim yeah, it up. And yeah. just trim it up. Now, yeah. this is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. And I know cameraman Luke has a couple of these at home and I can see why, because that just takes, you know, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Yeah. Like it brings it live into your house. For sure. Kids it's, will crack up over that. People love <laughs> this tree. Um, and it's, it's a cypress that we mentioned before and it's just been shaped into the, the Grinch tree. Uh, we've taken the lights, a uh, little bit of fairy lights, which come in both white or in colors, mm -hmm. to add just that little bit extra. But it's by far one of the most popular items we sell, for I sure. believe it. Okay, yeah. so poinsettia, Christmas cactus. Tell me about a Christmas cactus. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that it blooms at this time of year. How mm -hmm. do you maintain it for the rest of the year? Yeah, it's not hard at all. Christmas cactus, um, we actually sell, uh, it's a zygo cactus, so um, we've had arguments before. Is it Christmas cactus? Is it Thanksgiving cactus? It's right. actually a hybrid cactus that has been bred for a longer bloom time, nice big flowers, beautiful colors. So it's easier to care for and blooms for a longer period of time. They like bright, indirect light and uh, moderate watering. So water when dry. And uh, one of the keys for it is to give it as much light as possible, especially through the summer. They even okay. love going outside in the summertime. Do they bloom in the summertime? No. No, so then they come just back greenery. in. And it's that changing in light condition that triggers it to bloom. So those shorter days then start the blooming period. So that's why they bloom this time of year. See, when you come here to Terra, you also get a little bit of an educational uh, experience as well, because I come in here and ask all sorts of questions just like that. Uh, speaking of asking questions, we want to find the perfect Christmas tree. So we're going to be heading outside the greenhouse. All of that coming up on Morning Live.
Well, the snow and the wind and the cold sure says winter, and that says Christmas. And that is exactly what we're doing here, picking out our favorite and best Christmas tree with Chris here at Terra Greenhouses in Hamilton. We've got lots to choose from. Tell us the difference between all these trees. All right, so we've got our, our top three Ontario Christmas trees here, um, the most popular available. So right here is our classic balsam fir, mm. Fraser fir, and Scotch pine. And they all bring that amazing smell they into the home. They all do, and they're all very distinct. So Scotch pine is like the OG Christmas tree, this right? One? You've got the long needles. It's got sort of a rustic look. It's a bit, a bit prickly. It is. Um, and that classic pine smell, um, very sort of standalone, I would say. I feel like, because uh, I always had a real tree growing up, mm -hmm. and it was always kind of a comp, like either one or the other. It was never really the same tree. It was kind of one of these two. Yeah, <laughs> balsam fir for a long time was the, the Christmas tree. It's mm -hmm. what you got. It's got a slightly longer needle than the Fraser and by far the strongest fragrance. So if you want heavy fragrance, balsam's the way to go. Um, but Fraser has- I feel like this holds up with the ornaments a little bit. It does. So yeah. it's got a bit of a stronger branch, shorter needles, so it's easier to show off the ornaments. Yep. And that um, white underside adds sort of like a blue cast to it. So it's cool. a really elegant look. Yeah. Now why go real Christmas tree? Yeah, it's a question we get asked a lot. And is it okay to have a real Christmas tree? Am I cutting down trees in yeah. order to celebrate Christmas? Am I Christmas? hurting the environment? Right. Right, but it's actually a really sustainable choice. So all of our Christmas trees here are grown at Ontario Tree Farms, so uh, largely in Alliston, Ontario, and it's a cultivated crop, just like anything that you would grow on a farm. So yeah. we're not cutting down trees from the forest, we're you know, very intentionally growing them in a sustainable way. 10% mm -hmm. of that crop gets harvested each year, which means the other 90% continues growing and providing valuable wildlife habitat. And lots of oxygen for the air. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a very great true. carbon filter. Now, when you're done with the Christmas tree, there's <laughs> lots of different programs for recycling, reusing it in the different municipalities. Yeah, absolutely. So some municipalities offer offer a pickup and uh, they mulch it for uh, parks in, in, the, in the general area. Yep. You can also, a lot of people hang onto their Christmas tree and cut the branches apart, use it as mulch in their garden. Smart. Um, or you can even leave it to stand in your garden over the winter because the birds like going into it. Oh, so that's, that's true. Kind of it's like a shelter. You can just put it in your backyard. That you is can. such a smart idea. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for having us, Chris. Thank it you. certainly <laughs> feels like winter out here. We it's, brought the snow just for you. Well, yeah, it's the perfect time to come out and get your Christmas tree here at Terra Greenhouses. <laughs>